Hey everyone, this is a tutorial on the escape room parkour map. The code is in the description and just put in one of the islands at the creative hub which is it's a massive map so it will take um, a while to load up but once you do you can just hop in. Make sure to start the game. Whenever you spawn in, you can. This is spoiler warning before I continue. Um, I will show you how to get through every level, but this might ruin. Um, like, this might ruin the map for you, so I would recommend just trying to figure out everything by yourself. But yeah, you jump on that chimney, get on there, get on here. And you have to be careful because there is a trap in here, so you have to slowly. Sometimes the traps glitch, and so in this case, this trap is glitch and not working. But you want to jump across like that and get on level two. It's a little boy parkour course. They'll take you up to the roof and throw you in the bed of traps. So you're away. If you look around, you find that it is. Um, down in this hole. You actually have to land on this bush right here, or else you'll die of fall damage. This bush has a hidden tire in it. So once you're on level three, it this by the way is just like a torch chamber if you get mad. But if you look around, it's a ton of trees. This jump right here is in fact possible, but it's very hard to make. And this is just a decoy again. If you look around at the vines, you'll see some hidden rocks. You don't actually have to go to that rock. You can jump up here, 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 and up to here. And you want to? You can skip that jump. That is not. And getting from here to there is actually impossible. So it's a decoy. Once up on here, you jump over here, turn up that way to forward, and then you can jump into the. So we'll run up here after all that hard work. On that level will run up shops, it's actually a dead end. What you're supposed to do is turn around, see this platform and jump up here. And then you can get into level four. Level four is a city level. This is, there's some decorations, there's another torture level, and you're actually trying to get over there to level five. So, so, what you do, in fact, is you get up in this first tower. Um, some people try to go all the way to the top. That is another decoy route. If you find this chair here, you can get onto it. Get inside here. And jump onto this. Now you want to jump around the corner onto this railing. Go up. And this is probably, right now, is it probably the trickiest jump in this level. You need to jump on this chimney pipe that's it's pretty hard to do then it's from there on out it's easy now when you're up here these bandages you don't actually need them but I just spawn them just in case um, you can see the ending right there you can once you're up here you can go on the checkpoint to make it a team bit easier and jump out like that so you don't actually get trapped in there. now you jump down here jump on the tower and get onto this pipe. From this pipe, you want to crouch. Getting from this pipe to there is actually impossible. Many people have actually tried to do that, but um, you have to restart from on top. And if you do fall down, click the start button, and go click respawn, and then Y, and it'll respawn you up at that part. Okay, once you're up here, go to the top of the clock tower and run along here and jump like that. You might die if you're too short and you end up at your trap. So I'm hearing you time it to get your head. Um, I like to go forward like this. And come back like that. To get your head jammed up to here. Once you're on level 5, level 5 is a puzzle room. There's many uh, entrances. So the first room looks like this, and it's actually kind of important that you complete it. Um, 
most people will see traps at the end. It is in fact a dead end, but it has a clue um, to the very end, or the level 7 that you're going to need. So just jump up here. The ending jumps aren't that hard once you get on here. You need to land on that gold block and um, jump up before the traps can get to you. But I'm not going to show you what the clue is, because I'll let you figure that out. Um, then, so that's kind of the cheat. Um, you go here, this is just a decoy room, there's no ending. I'll show you how to get through the maze properly, but once you figure that out, or if you see this, you can skip the whole maze by jumping in. So you go in the maze, you turn back here, this trap doesn't get triggered, there's a, a stairway right here you can get on, and jump around like that, and then you can get over here, jump up on here. Now there are a ton of random blocks, it doesn't matter which way you put this is probably the easiest and the most efficient. Now you jump up on here and you need to get back down to that block. But once again it's one of those trigger blocks. 